Hello students, this is your course on content marketing. In this video on developing relevant content, we are going to talk about researching market for trending ideas and gaps. So this is a new chapter. We are going to talk about what relevant content is and how to develop it. In the previous chapters, we talked about different uh, content formats and uh, how they feature into your website into your social media strategy and as as a whole how using those different content formats you can achieve your content marketing kpis and goals but now uh, that you have a good idea about what kind of formats can work for your company for your brand using those formats you have to create relevant and valuable content so we'll begin by understanding what relevant content is and what relevance is for your uh, customers Developing relevant content is the next and recurring step in content marketing strategy uh, execution and after determining the niche in which content will be produced and the content formats to be used, this is the most natural next thing that you have to start doing. Which means that you have to figure out what relevant content is for your customers. Relevance can be defined in terms of the importance of information. Uh, which your company your brand wants to share it could be product information it could be product application uh, latest updates new features new attributes that you are adding to the product events that you may be organizing it could be uh, a way of educating your end customers about the various aspects of the industry and, and your product and the kind of value that you can offer as a brand so whatever is important for you as a company begins uh, as the foundation of relevant content for your website and for your overall content strategy. The next step is identifying uh, what is of interest for your customer. So you may want to say 10 things on your website. You may want to say 100 things on your website, but a customer is only interested in about four of them. So the relevance factor, therefore, is something that is falling in this zone where what is important to you and what the customer is interested in comes together. This content is uh, useful for your customer. This content is delivered on time. This content is uh, specific to the solution or the need that the customer is seeking to resolve. And uh, therefore, Whatever content, however important it is to you uh, and whichever format you are producing it in would be of interest to your customer and the customer would invest time and effort in consuming this content on whichever channel you distribute through whichever platform you make it available on. This is the reason that creating relevant content is the uh, major uh, influencing factor, major success factor that can... Uh, actually deliver the right results through your content marketing strategy. Now, content relevance is important because it ensures that your customers derive high value from every piece of content that you offer. And like I said in the previous uh, slide, it should not be the case that you are producing uh, 100 different types of content in a given time period and customers are finding value in only four of them. Every piece of content that you design should be offering value, should be offering entertainment, knowledge uh, or some form of value add to your customer and therefore it should seem relevant to them for them to keep coming back to you. Relevant content enjoys high click-through rate and low bounce rate. Meaning that anytime a customer sees promotion of your relevant content, which is of interest to them, they're likely to uh, click on the link or the CTA tab or uh, the image, the video, the blog, wherever they are at, they are more likely to click through and reach your website or reach your social media account to consume that content. It also means that if your content is relevant, it is uh, hitting hard in the right places, the customer will not leave your website without consuming it and without um, perhaps even exploring further for more uh, relatable, more relevant and more uh, enhanced value on uh, the rest of the website. Which means if your uh, promised marketing communication 
can then result in relevant content being delivered the customer can form a very positive perception of the brand and uh, can uh, explore further whatever else kind of content that you have to offer and is not likely to just leave the website without really even checking out your value proposition relevant content also means that you can enjoy a better social shares and customer engagement over a period of time and you can uh, really draw out your customers into leaving positive comments sharing their opinions participating in dialogue where you trying to learn about their needs their preferences and even contribute towards shaping up better products by your company for the future it also enjoys improved ppc performance and ad ranking because these are some of the factors uh, that get impacted by content relevance and search engines as well as social media platforms that charge uh, for marketing campaigns on a per click basis they uh, decide how much per click or per conversion would cost a company on the basis of the quality of ad or quality of landing page or quality of content that is linked with the ad and therefore the uh, higher relevance you will uh, ensure in your content the better you will be utilizing your budget and the better performance of your campaign would be evident in your roi also and as i said earlier it's definitely the right way to create a positive and strong brand image and uh, improve your domain authority improve your company uh, or your expert authority in uh, the topic niche uh, in which you are uh, presenting that content now 60% of consumers enjoy reading relevant content from brands today and this number is increasing and consumers are not just looking for um, shallow or meaningless entertainment anymore and uh, any kind of content that they are spending time on they want to derive some value out of it and if they can connect the content with the brand they uh, start respecting the brand better and they enjoy this kind of interaction more 82% of consumers today feel more positive about a company after reading custom content meaning you you cannot always just upcycle uh, content or aggregate content and publish it hoping that will leave the desired impact on your customers if you have invested research and uh, time and effort into building customized content specific to the exact needs of your target customers and they feel that it is deriving value for them and it it is of interest to them then they start feeling more and more positive about the your company also they also feel closer to the company as a result of your content marketing efforts instead of getting irritated or annoyed or um, starting to avoid your campaigns because they s- start expecting that whatever you have to say would be of meaning to them would be of interest to them and you will not be wasting their time now ways to do content research without using any paid tools here in we are going to talk about a different main and major ways uh, that you can research uh, and come up with content ideas ideas which are relevant and which can lead you to develop uh, relevant content uh the idea behind doing this research is studying uh, the existing trends in the industry and identifying the opportunity for producing quality content as well as identifying the market gap which you can fill with your relevant content so the very first step that you can take in researching is industry and competitor analysis you need to find out what are the uh, existing trends and uh, popular topics in uh, the industry within which you are designing your content marketing campaign then you also have to study your competitors and uh, figure out the kind of content presence they have be it blogs uh, ebooks videos or social media posts you need to uh, have a thorough in-depth analysis of what is already out there and compare to that where you stand and uh, how your content marketing objectives match up to that then you can also use uh, google trends and popular questions or search engines like google and bing to find out within your specific niche 
what is the kind of uh, topics or subtopics that your target customers are searching for are looking for and this can guide you to frame topics which could be of interest to your customers because uh, this this is uh, nothing but the study of uh, the interest of your target customers and nothing but the study of how they are trying to find uh, relevant information if you can figure out uh, the right search queries trending search queries which are relevant to your niche then you can definitely come up with topics which uh, would be readily absorbed and consumed by your target customers then uh, you can also research niche communities and forums like quora reddit and many more which will be discussing in subsequent uh, videos uh, just to figure out that for that particular topic Uh, for that particular niche or domain within which you are creating content the most passionate consumers that are there what are they talking about what is their sentiment about the uh, content that is available how do they feel uh, about finding more information and what kind of information is it they are seeking and uh, the, this can actually open your eyes up to the market gap that exists and the market opportunity that is there for you to create meaningful and uh, traffic friendly content and lastly if nothing else works if if you have uh, studied your industry your competitors uh, done the google analysis uh, joined niche communities and forums and still you are hazy and you are not able to figure out that what is actually relevant to your end customers then what makes sense is asking your customers the question directly what kind of content they would like to consume what kind of information what kind of uh, entertaining content they would want you to present them with and ju- just then taking the steps to narrow that gap and uh, creating that kind of content which the market is waiting for which the market is ready for now you can collect potential topics through research and uh, the best way perhaps is to start with uh, the industry study and uh, where best to go than to google as a search engine so uh, here i've taken an example of recent trends in automobile industry being searched uh, assuming that a content marketing campaign is to be designed for automobile industry or automotive industry the uh, very uh, top featured snippet that you can uh, look at is top 10 automotive industry trends in 2020 and beyond and uh, from this itself you can come up with various topics for your blog for your social media posts for your youtube channel and uh, any any kind of ebooks or industry reports you want to create so autonomous vehicles obviously trending topic connectivity electrification shared mobility ai data analytics human machine interface blockchain how these things are figuring into automobile industry in itself can be uh, developed into numerous different content formats and you can have a number of blogs and posts created out of it you can have uh, in depth webinars or podcasts discussing about the potential of autonomous vehicles or blockchain in automobiles so so the very first search effort that you make on a search engine about the industry can really open up a big avenue of potential topics which could be of relevance to your end customers then as you start delving in more you can start figuring out who is your competition uh, assuming that uh, we are developing an automobile blog uh, within which you want to capture the trending topics in the industry other auto blogs would be your competitors so uh, with the top auto industry blogs we can study what is the kind of content they are coming out with regularly so uh, let's say the truth about cars is a very popular blog and it is uh, publishing content like car reviews product reviews and uh, depending on the geographic market that you're dealing with you can have a similar kind of format for your uh, blog site and you can also come up with these same kind of uh, content ideas for your um, content campaign even if you don't want to create blogs you can perhaps use the same idea of coming up with car reviews and uh, develop videos around it podcasts around it uh, 
uh, with, for product reviews, you can have uh, compar- comparative infographics. You can also make social media posts about uh, particular car reviews. So the opportunity is immense. Similarly, uh, on the website automoblog.net, there are some other types of uh, topics which could be of interest. For example, 65 best used cars for teenagers according to Consumer Reports and IHS. Now, this particular topic may be of relevance to users in um, the US or in the European countries. And if you're looking at maybe the Asian countries or India uh, specifically, maybe uh, best used cars for teenagers is not going to be a relevant topic. So while doing such research, you have to understand uh, whether it makes sense for your target audience or not and uh, tweak the topics accordingly, adjust the topics accordingly for your particular target market. So that's about uh, developing relevant content and understanding uh, how you can do research to study various topics and figure out the marketing gap. Uh, Next up, we'll talk about brainstorming content ideas, which is the next natural step to come up with the right topics for your content campaign. Until then, thank you.